Honey. <laughs> What's up, my nuggets? Mr. Phantasmo here. And Lacey Nipple Twister. Oh my god, I didn't even introduce you. <laughs> you're not even supposed to be a special guest. Just sit, Donnie, sit in the corner of the room. Wait till you're called upon. Right? Am I right, fellas? Isn't that what girls are good for? It's Friday! You know what that means. It's time to light the candles, get the massage like oils, and the <laughs> tissue box, and turn on your favorite Cartoon Network channel. Because tonight you're staying in. You're not talking to any girls, and that's that, right? No. No. I feel like we're an old advertisement for something. You always have the good cop, bad cop. No. Okay. Good Anyways, cop. Uh, I would cop. definitely be the good cop. I give the good yeah. advice. I give the best advice. You oh want to know God. why? Because Mike. Pritchard said, Phantasmo, I followed your advice and it worked. I have a date on Friday because of you. He said that in the comment section of the last video. So you know, it's clinically proven to 99% work 10% of the time. 10% of the time it'll work 99% of the time. It's, it's proven. There's scientific facts, knowledge of these questions that I'm about to answer for these people will help them. 10% out of 99% of a, of, a, of, a, of a full moon, if, mm -hmm. it's, if it's on a full moon. All right, let's get to the questions. We got we got a lot of questions to get through, and we're going to rattle them, rattle them, rattle them. So we had, our, we had our comment of the day by Mike Pritchard for, that was, that was, a, that was the comment for, for perseverance and confidence for you guys. And this is our comment of the day that will be answered by another viewer. So, Cheesehead304 says... Dear Phantasma, I was recently dumped by my girlfriend who I dated for two years. She broke up with me because she wanted to go off to college single. I wasn't happy about her going off and fucking around, but now she started talking to me again. She said she was thinking about getting back together. Should I even listen to what she has to say or cut all ties with her? Can't get this out of my head and would appreciate if you could help me out. Thanks, bro. And I said, I was about to, I picked this question because I was going to answer it, and then I was reading through the comments of people who had responded to him, and Alex Middleton 4 said, the reason she wants to get back is because things didn't work out like she wanted to, and she's only going to do it again because she doesn't value your relationship. Seriously, do not go back to her. I've been in a similar situation, and I know it hurts so much, and it sucks, but believe me, if you value yourself and you don't want to go through it again, I cannot stress it enough. Do not go back to her. You will find a better girl that will treat you with respect, and I couldn't have said it better myself, which is why he said it all. Do you have anything to add to that? No, Alex Middleton is on point. Alex Middleton, uh, Lacey Nibble Twister wants to uh, get to know you apparently because yes, please. that was a yes or no question. Do you have anything to add? And you go ahead and just you're like, oh, Alex Middleton. Uh. So whatever. That's what I got to say about that. Anyways, next question. <laughs> this one comes from the Archangels nine eight two. And he says, Phantasmo, I got a major problem. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. And I'm too sexy for Milan. Too sexy for my car. Too sexy by far. And I'm too sexy for my hat. Too sexy for my hat. What you think about that? Cause I'm a model, you know what I mean. And I do my little turn on the catwalk. On the catwalk. On the catwalk. Yeah, I shake my little tush on the catwalk. That Jewish cowboy says, Mr. Phantasmo, I have a dilemma. In one of my engineering classes... What? Oh my God. Yeah, that, it was more of a song than a... <laughs> In one of my engineering classes, wait, did I say his name? The Jewish cowboy? Yeah. Okay. In one of my engineering classes, wait, did I say that sentence already? Okay. That was the third time. All right. In one of my engineering classes, I'm a junior in college, FYI. I have this attractive girl in there, and every time I look at her in class, she is looking at me. I feel like it's one of those stares where she is either wanting to talk to me or know me. But I can't help but feel it's weird she sits next to the wall alone in class. I've tried the smile back at her thing and it kind of seems neutral. I want to make the move, but I want it done right. What does one do? So, personally, I would say if she's staring at you in class and she sits in the corner, she's probably going to be a freak in the sheets. Just later down the road, that's my... 
That's my my guess. So, because it's it's very easy. All you're gonna do is after class, you're gonna go up and talk to her. You're just gonna approach her and say, "Hey, pretty lady." I don't know. Is there like an engineering engineering speak for this? I feel like, um, if if I were to, if I were to get put in this situation right now, where this girl had been looking at me for a really long time, and I'm just walking over to her. Just ask her. Just hey, be like, hey, uh, I think you're cute. I was wondering if you wanted to grab a bite to eat sometime. That's all you have to do. Any girl you ever see, if you think they're cute and you want to talk to them, just do that. Do you? Hey, I think you're cute. I was wondering if you wanted to go get dinner sometime. That doesn't put their pressure on them right then and there necessarily, because they can just be like, oh yeah, and they can give you a fake number or they can give you the real number and never call you back. But if they really like you, then you know, that's a safe bet, right? Yeah, I think you need to go you sit by her. Oh, you could start sitting by her in class. Like, uh, she's probably not weird. She's probably just shy. She's probably I shy. She, she, I bet you she's just as f afraid for you to talk to her as and you're then, afraid to talk to her. And then when go sit by her, she's going to be like, Oh my gosh, she really does like me. Uh, well, you know, that's the storybook and way of doing things. If, yeah, but then you don't, you don't even have to talk to her the first time you sit by her. Yeah. What you're gonna do is Talk you're gonna to wanna the, go. The second time. You're gonna go by uh, heavy duty industrial strength barbed wire handcuffs, and you're gonna wanna handcuff her Damn, to her bro. desk when she's not looking, and then she'll have oh, no shit. choice but to love you because you're the one with the key. That's dumb. And you swallowed it, so she has to reach inside your butt and pull it out. That'd be a long way around. That's that. So, anyways, let's go on to our next question. And this question is from Hello You How Son. And he says, Dare Phantasmo, what is a girl? Now, this is a very good question, and I think it might have been the highest rated question of my last video, and it's for a very good reason, because a lot of people, they're unfamiliar. And I'm just going to give you a brief history and description of what a girl is. Now, do you know what a girl is? Of course you don't. I'm okay. Not sure. So a girl was the the term girl and the the item girl was developed by McDonald's in the late 1800s, and um, they've used it ever since as a tool for selling their hamburgers. Because when this girl is is supposed to be like this unreachable aspect of, of a guy's life and when he can't get her because he hasn't watched enough Call of Booty episodes oh he resorts God. to eating hamburgers but before he eats them he has sex with them because it makes it taste better and oh God, that's what it goes. Okay, so do you want to read your question? Yes. You did the Twitter question of the, of the episode. And it is from Nugget Forever. Oh, what a great name. And, and Nugget Forever oh, asks, Tasmo, I consider myself a pretty oh, outgoing guy. Shit. I go out to parties and meet ladies, but I can't get their number. Help. Help. Well. Well. <laughs> let's say, have you ever have you ever had a guy come up to you at a party and ask for your number? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how did that go? Um... <laughs> Well, usually it's just like they take your phone and put your phone and go ahead. Well, that's not, that doesn't happen. He, yeah, or you need to like, and you can't just go up and be like, hey, give me your number. Like you have to be talking to the girl for a little bit and like hanging out with her at the party. And then you can be like, hey, could I get your number or can I give you mine? And then... Whichever she agrees to. I always find the, hey, we should hang out sometime, or hey, we should do whatever. Like, hey, like like I said earlier, hey, do you want to go get a bite to eat sometime? And then they have to give you your number, because you have no other way of contacting them. Unless they give you their address and you can send them a letter. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I see what you're saying. Um, if you've been If you've been talking to the girl the whole night, just kind of like sneakily, if she puts her phone down, just take it. And like play around, and then like. No, don't don't do that. No. Why? You don't know. That's what you just said. You said guys come up to you, steal your phone, and put their number in it. It not like that. Like we'd be talking, and they just take it out of my hand. It's not like I was out of the room and left my phone. I didn't say if he was out of the room. I said if you sat it down, you could pick it up. Why would you sit your phone down at a? Place? If you're if you're sitting on a chair, you can sit it on the armrest. Why are you getting so? I'm just saying because I just said exactly what you said happened to you, and you're like, oh no, it's not that. It's the exact same thing, but it's just your words, so they don't make sense. I don't get it. It's the same thing. All right, we're done. We're done with this episode. 
If you want to get a girl's number at a party, just steal her phone and smash it on the ground and write your number on chalk in the pavement and then say, here, you want a new phone? Call me. That's all you have to do.